Cadillac Queen, y'all hear me knocking will let me in. So I can see YouTube. I just took the shift shaft seal out. I got the old one right there. Y'all see the tool? Sorry about the hands in the way. But that's the old shift shaft on that tool. That's the part number for that tool. That's it. And you can get it at Napa for like 12 bucks. The thing is, you take this bottom screw out and you put it up on over the shelf, over that little shelf part. This part goes over it. Without the screw in, take a hammer, just barely tap it in. Then once you tap it in, the screw, the screw that I got my fingers on will be out. Then you'll take a 16 millimeter and you're turning right. Turning right, 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 right to grip it. Then you put this screw in, which is a 15. Then you go the same direction that way. You tighten it. As you tighten it, it'll pull it out. Once it pulls it out, it'll grab it just like that. That's the old one. And here go my new one right here. That's the new one. So before I put this on, I'm going to grease it up, oil it up, put a little oil around it. Now, this is the reinstall kit. Now, once I get the new one in it, I line it up over the screw with a hole it. Then I tap that new one in after I grease it. I wanted to give y'all an update. This is the seal that everybody forget on a Turbo 350. They'll rechange, replace every seal on the transmission but the, that one and, figure, and still wonder why they still leaking. This is the shift shaft seal. So now let me uh, put the new one in, y'all, and we're going to get her done. Y'all don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share button.